Good afternoon, this is Julie. It is Monday, March 12th. It's 4.03 p.m. Chicago time. Markets are closed right now. This is a market review and I will show you a few tricks. Um, here is the crude market and as you can see, this is a 30 minute chart. And I usually would like to use a 30 minute chart or a 15 minute chart and get um, the market when it's breaking outside of its range with the higher time frame trend. Uh, today our trend was down and we were breaking below that range so the story was to trade with that directional move um, for as long as possible if and be aware of when the market could break out this thick dashed line there is Friday's intraday close and the market um, when it opened looked like it was going to be trying to head up there but then turned around and came all the way back down. Um, let me show you the trick I use for identifying these ranges. Here was Friday's uh, high and low so what I do is I take a Fibonacci of that area and there is my magic secret right there. So um, it looks like my magic secret got Ten cents off, but um, close is close enough in horseshoes and trading. And that was the low, and then it turned around and went right back to the uh, middle. We could not get past this half back today. We were sitting there, and it went sideways for a good hour, forty-five minutes uh, or an hour, just sitting there would not do anything except you know just go sideways and here that was right here just sat there inside this little range and finally um, broke to the bottom and then it turned around and went right back up as soon as it popped that bottom it flipped over so somebody was sitting on that half back pretty good and um Finally, um, traders get, did get back up to the um, intraday close to close that gap, and now we're meandering back down. So it was a wild day for the crude market, uh, to say the very least, a nice down and up. Um, there is going to be an OPEC report on Wednesday, along with the EIA report, so uh, heads up on additional um, crude trades until those numbers come out. There was also some chatter on Twitter um, from the tanker trackers indicating satellite imaging out of Cushing may show that there's a little bit of a build but not you know there's nothing scientific there's no numbers or reports been released they're just looking at satellite imaging um, trying to see that there's maybe a little bit of uh, accumulation um, so we'll see if that um, reflects on the um, Cushing inventory on Wednesday. So let's take a look right now at the NASDAQ. And it was a choppy trading session also uh, today. I've got my range outside the indicator. Um, here was Friday's close, Friday's price action, just very nice orderly uh, price action all the way up. And then we sort of flattened out today. We did make a new all-time high, but we weren't able to get back to it. It failed, uh, obviously. Uh, you can't always break your highs each time. But we are holding that prior close. 
Um, so we'll have to wait and see how this shakes out. It looks like it might break back down inside the range a little bit, given the um, momentum not nearly as strong today as it was on Friday. So with this momentum flattening, I would expect to see a bit of a pullback um, a little bit more. Um, so we'll see what happens overnight. Um, tomorrow we have CPI report. So anything inflationary, uh, keep your eye out for because the market is really itching to sell. Let me tell you, they had no trouble at all selling these two areas, but it took forever to get the up candles up. So people are, um, they are on that sell button. So be careful up here flying on these um, all time highs. This is the uh, revised template I have for the direction guide. I've sort of streamlined it. I've put a 15 range on it. So you don't have to have that 15 minute chart up to see whether you're inside or outside this range. I've got this now on the template on this second band, uh, the bottom band. The top band is the um, little algorithm I have for um, identifying um, whether you should be going long short or stay out of the market if there's nothing in the band. That sort of means that you might want to just sit on your hands. Um, but I've um, also got this set up so that if you just want to take the um, RTH session and if you don't trade Globex, you don't have to worry about those signals. You can just look at your chart for the prior signals for the RTH session and um, see how they matched. Um, but since this is such a 24-7 market now, especially with um, London, um, I pretty much leave it on Globex. And this, of course, is an indication that this would be the time to be looking for longs. Again, the, um, the range um, was not happening. Um, the 15-minute range was not occurring when these longs were firing off. So you probably wouldn't want to like exceed uh, your profit target or something like that. You wouldn't want to be trailing. You'd be taking off at the profit target if you didn't have um, that range behind your back. But if you do have the range behind your back like it is over here, then you would want to be trailing. And um, I don't, like I said, if you um, want to trade this in Raven or in Blackbird, um, you have signals in here to take reversals when the candle pulls back after a pullback with the direction of your trade, or um, you can trade high low, and that'll just get you in on any tick in that direction during this green um, stripes anywhere within that candle um, would get you long. So a um, couple of ways to take those trades, but um, basically I just trade the reversals. And those are the reversals long and short. So you can use this for your exit if you want, or just a profit target. And again, this is the um, Globex or the um, what I have for the RTH session. The little algo to tell you trades during the RTH session, okay? And this is the direction guide template. All right. So um, Thursday, or excuse me, um, Thursday, um, Wednesday, it usually is a Thursday, Wednesday the 21st next week, I'll be having a webinar and uh, we'll do part two of the um, uh, last webinar, uh, trading the meat of the move. 
and um, we'll be looking at my Bloodhound templates in further detail. I will have a Blackbird strategy that I will be working with um, and showing you how to trade Fibonacci's uh, levels with uh, Blackbird uh, with this indicator that we're using and um, to get trades and also um, to time trades um, just on the regular templates using Raven and uh, Blackbird. So uh, if you want, you can register by sending an email to support at J Auto Trading Strategies and we'll make sure to get you on the list uh, for the webinar. And that is going to be uh, March 21st. And there will be an open house on the 22nd and 23rd following the webinar. All right, so that's all I have for you. Uh, tomorrow again is CPI. Um, so be uh, aware that should some um, overheating be indicated in the market, they um, might pull back some. Uh, otherwise, if it's a nominal report, just a normal report, I would expect that this growth is just going to continue status quo, right? We'll just continue to grow. Um, be looking at the 10-year yield uh, to make sure it's not going to be, um, you know, hitting three or anything like that tomorrow, which would cause those stocks to also pull back. But um, I think, I don't think that there's a really a chance tomorrow to see too much overheating. They um well, we, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. So um, with that, have a good night and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.